so uh, this is very important now going for the introduction here in this picture you uh, you see that lots of tools are there these uh, some tools are cutting tools some to tools are very helpful for your maintenance and uh, some are uh, very frequently used tools but some are uh, rarely used tools but all are having very importance in maintenance uh, aviation maintenance so there should be uh, great care for these tools now uh, we as you know that these are having very imp uh, importance for um, uh, aviation maintenance so proper care and control of tools is integral to the proper maintenance it means that as far as the maintenance is uh, having some importance the care of tool and the care and the control of tool in aviation is also very important if you are maintaining a car and if you are maintaining a uh, an aircraft there is a hell of difference uh, maintaining a car and maintaining an aircraft remaining a tool putting a tool uh, and forgetting a tool in an aircraft is having much much more dangerous as compared to remaining or forgetting a tool in a car so how it is uh, so dangerous how is how it has a fatal kind of consequences uh, it would be discussed later on workshop practices may be slightly different among organizations yeah, this is uh, this uh, this para is elaborating uh, which I have said earlier that different organizations who are working uh, who are using uh, tools uh, they have different consequences as far as their tool control tools control is concerned now how to take care of tools you know that everybody in maintenance field is responsible for care of hand tools everyone who is maintaining the aircraft he he should hold his self himself responsible for the care of these hand tools user has the responsibility to ensure that the tool is in good working condition now everyone who is using these tools it means that these tools are helpful to him so he is responsible he should be held responsible for the maintaining that tool he should uh, be held responsible for taking care of that tool so responsibility lies on the user who is the end user tool must be kept clean and corrosion free if a man who is, who is utilizing these tools is uh, using uh, rustful kind of uh, tools he is using the corroded tools the, the main and the, uh, the effectiveness of these tools would be affected so for having a good utilization of these tools ne he need to be we need to take care about these tools now care of tools tools with movable parts should be kept properly lubricated these are now I am going to elaborate something about the uh, different stages of care if you are using tools and these need to be lubricated for corrosion free environment you need to properly lubricate these tools especially especially those tools who are having the movable parts these need to be lubricated it means that if you are not lubricate these tools that can be corroded and that can jam and uh, the jam mm, if they would be jammed it means that the movement would be restricted and they could not perform their uh, their function in a very good way so need to for having a, a good function of the movable parts you need to have a proper lubrication of these tools a quick visual inspection before use is uh, needed every time it should be the responsibility of the user to inspect his tools if is there any uh, is there any problem he need to rectify it if he is able to rectify it if he is not able to rectify it he, he should return his tool back to the tool stores where from from where he has collected that tool and need to have a very accurate and the perfect tool for his job now there are many tools uh, which are need to be precised these tools are called as the precise precision tools sometimes we call it the precision measuring equipment so these precision tools need to be inspected need to be zeroized and need to be calibrated if you are uh, using uncalibrated uncalibrated unzeroized or uninspected tools it can give you a, a wrong reading it can give you a wrong uh, data that could affect your results and if you are using uh, 
uncalibrated tool that could be a fatal thing for your final results and uh, that uh, for this purpose you need to have a good calibration regard if you you need to have a good inspection of that regard that could uh, uh, that could remove this um, attention from maintaining an aircraft no always follow the oem or organization organizational procedures for use of precision tools the manufacturer always provide a manual for use of different sophisticated type of precision uh, precision tools that need to be followed if you are following these manual that if you are fo following the in instructions provided by the OEM or organizational procedures are followed it means that the proper usage of uh, this tool is followed and no how to control the tools you know that I uh, have you ever learned about the FOD foreign object damage if you are putting a small screw or a small item or a small tool in a in a in an aircraft especially in the engine area that could be a very very fatal fatal kind of consequences uh, it's mean that uh, you are playing with the lives of hundreds and hundreds of the peoples and uh, the means to say that that could be a fatal thing for the aircraft for especially for the aircraft and the wealthy and the that could be a fatal thing for the aircraft so you need to have a good control of tools everyone who is maintaining the aircraft he need to emphasize the he need to have an uh, a good idea about the uh, importance of the controls of tools the most important thing for an engineer is to have a good control of his tool the control of tool means that if you are if you are issuing a tool from a tool store you need to deposit the quantity you have issued at the end of your job in aviation is a in, in avi an aviation aviation a misplaced tool can cost a life and a billion dollars cost the aircraft is not um, you can say a cheap thing that is a very very costly thing and most importantly a, a life with which has been lost lost due to an aviation accident is so precious that it's it's having no uh, other uh, returnable so good control of tools can save uh, billions of billions of dollars in uh, in aviation and many many lives now for controlling a controlling of tools what we need to do organizing one's tool storage so that all tools can be accounted for for uh, is a good practice means to say if you are issuing two tools you need to deposit two tools if you are issuing 100 tools you need to deposit almost not almost means to say 100 tools a shadow a shadow board type concept for storage of pillar pliers screws drivers ratchets hammers and other tools have the same effect there are many techniques to have a good have a good and a uh, short time a short time analysis that you are having a good con control over tools you uh, employ different kinds of techniques but one technique is the shadow board type in this you you made some shadows of different tools for example if you are having a shadow of plier and if that shadow is empty that means that uh, you would have a uh, you, you would have an idea that plier is missing from that shadow place don't use tools don't use tools that need repair or replacement broken tools can cause injury never use those tools which are having fatal consequences so always use a perfect tool always use a tool that could be a very benefitary kind of things for your job tools are managed so that technicians may quickly see when a tool is missing there are pouches there are different kind of uh, boxes and tool kits are available you need to manage such kind of things that uh, when uh, when a tool is missing technician should realize that yes I have a missing tool now tools calibration is also very very important this comes under the tools management it's the responsibility of the 
the the man who is uh, taking care about the tools that he need to have uh, an eye a close eye that how many tools especially the precision tools are need to be calibrated need to have a calibration from calibration organi calibration organizations so where necessary tools equipment and the test equipments are all calibrated to acceptable standards large companies keep inventory control over tools that need periodic calibration uh, and may have a calibration shop in house this there uh, should be uh, they should be have a, a record and sp a company especially have uh, records of those tools which need to be uh, which need to be calibrated and for this purpose they can uh, they can use uh, manual data as well as the uh, database kind of computer computer based database system for good eye on calibration record complete calibration record must be kept up to date all the time now for this purpose they need they need to have some system for this system there are some uh, databases which provide good record uh, keeping for the calibration record sensitive instruments especially electrical instruments are calibrated by the user before each use uh, sensitive instruments which uh, which uh, which having the sensitivity of the usage these the, these uh, especially in electrical instruments they need to be calibrated and their calibration f uh, calibrated uh, fre calibration frequency need to be ma uh, mentioned need to be need to be uh, directed by the user uh, by the user as well as the uh, tool store manager all calibration all calibration tools record must be traceable just like done on ALMS EV calibration uh, calibration module now calibration every time we when we s uh, talk about the calibration we always talk about the calibration of uh, calibration record which could provide you a good picture about the uh, next due date and the when uh, when you need to uh, submit the tool for the next calibration for this purpose for this purpose automated logistic management system um, type of uh, database systems could help you no tools calibration for the calibration records or certificates should contain the following information if you are maintaining if you are keeping a calibration records that calibration record need to have the following information identification of equipment that what type of equipment it is what is the specific identification of that equipment standard use standard used uh, for which on which standard that has to be used result obtained what wha what was the results after the calibration and what uh, what were the results before the calibration uncertainty of measurement if if is there any uncertainty that need to be mentioned assigned calibration interval you need to have a good uh, 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 that is when next due is uh, coming and when it is uh, completed that record should be available limits of permissible error if is there uh, any permissible errors are allowed that allowed permissible limit should be uh, mentioned in that record the, author the authority under which the rela uh, release document was issued is there if, if any authority is uh, providing any release of documents that need to be mentioned as well any limitation in the use of the equipment if if uh, that equipment has some limitations that need to be mentioned as well and that need to be mentioned by the calibrate calibration organization from where you are getting the calibration date on which each calibration was conducted um, that means to say that you have you should have a good uh, record of dates and when you have conducted the calibration of that specific tool now a standard workshop should have what what a standard workshop should have an aviation the highest standards of workmanship are practiced why the highest standards of workmanship is are practiced because uh, that is a very sensitive job and if you are not uh, performing the highest standard of workmanship in aircraft maintenance that could be a very 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 fatal fatal kind of consequences for the for the aircraft as well as for the human lives 
in standard workmanship what we need to do an error for any reasons could result in the loss of human lives means to say that an error could induce a human life to be lost strict rules regulation to be followed as issued by company or oem if any company or oem is providing any manuals or any regulations regarding the use of uh, different tools or um, instruments that need to be followed if you want to have a good standardized kind of workshop deviation from these procedures require approval if if you are uh, devi uh, deviating from the required procedures you need to have a approval from a oem or a company or a manufacturer maintenance instruction typically specify measurable values and tolerance for acceptance action acceptable actions should be seriously followed that to the tool you are using or the instrument you are using that need to have a maintenance instruction which specify uh, 